Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a new series I am looking at starting, which is basically Minecraft for Railway Nerds. This game is in early release. It has not been officially released yet. It's still very much in development, and trust me, you can tell this thing has some wonky physics. Not everything works. You can see like that bogey right there is not even on the tracks, but as soon as I pull away, it will be. Same with that one, they kind of straighten out as you go. But anyway, I wanted to showcase this for you guys. This is going to be a new series I'm starting, which I'm thinking about calling it uh, CG Railways, Carburetor Gaming Railways, basically. And it's definitely something that right now has piqued my interest. Uh, like I said, this is basically Minecraft for railway nerds. You can kind of see there's a little bit of hump in that rail, which I kind of want to straighten out. But I want to redo this entire area over here, including at the logging camp where I am right now. I have to change out of the V setting and go into there. I've made it to the logging camp. The next station is the sawmill. After the sawmill, I get to go to the smelter from the smelter, probably to the... Iron ore mine from the iron ore mine, probably to the coal mine. I don't know. I might actually go smelter to coal mine and then from coal mine to the iron ore mine and see how that goes. But anyway, let me show you guys a little bit so you, you can grab firewood here. And then you just sort of throw it in a little bit weird. You have all these controls here, which you can operate. That was the break. Here's the, the reverser. Here's the regulator, which is basically the throttle. And we're running. You can. We have the whistle right there, kind of cool. We have the bell right there. This is where all of the uh, everything spawns in. If we hit the R key, you can see we have locomotives. You can start with the flat car, flat car type two, which is for good for hauling lumber, raw iron, and rail beam. Flat car three, which is good for core wood and oil barrel. Then we go to the hopper tanker the box car hand car which i don't have which i almost should get just for just for the fun of it this is the base model that you spawn in with you're given this train out of the get-go then we have the porter 2 we get the climax which is just awesome i'm i think this is probably going to be the next locomotive i get just because of how cool it is it, this thing is just it is really neat Basically an oversized tank engine. Going on, we have the Hessler, which is basically a Climax V2. This thing is just, that thing is just cool. So is this thing. That thing is neat. And we have the Eureka. This thing kind of sucks, actually. I've seen other videos about this. And this thing, it has less traction effort than the Porter, which is the base model. But anyway, let's hop back onto my train. There's another thing, you know, you can do logging, you can re-rail your locomotives if you're, uh, if you derail. Where'd my train go? I left the brake off, didn't I? Yep, there it goes. Uh, that's why you can't leave the brake off, guys. And then you can actually pilot your uh, your train by hopping in like this. So, switch is going to send us that way, which I don't want to go. So, I actually have this basically full dual track all the way to the logging camp, which is kind of what I wanted. Let's back up here. Eventually, I want to redo all of this, like I said. If you... Click out an F like that, it automatically puts the brakes on, which is kind of nice. Switch that over, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put on the switch down there. So for putting on the switch down there, actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ghost ride this. Brakes off, reverse her forward, brake back off. Alright, regulator's at 7%. That should be enough. The brake's not fully released, I can tell. There it should be released. Okay. 
Oh, the regular wasn't forward. That was it. I think. <laughs> this is really tricky to do. Like, this is not as simple as you might think. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's, we've got coupling rods, we've got coupling pins. It's going pretty decent there. I'll run ahead and flip the switch. Yeah, my hope is eventually that this game with enough development will eventually become like Minecraft, kind of synonymous with Minecraft. You can see I kind of have to re relay some of this bedding right here. I don't like the fact that there are weeds poking up. It kind of looks a little janky. But, you know, that is how it would be in real life, I guess. Make sure this switch is flipped. I, I wanted to dual rail this the entire way there. Just so that I could have the... Uh, just so that I could literally just keep on running in circles. And I wouldn't have to get out and flip these switches. Because every single time that you go to flip a switch you have to slow down or hit the brake or something and it's just it's rather annoying all right let's hop in yeah the brake was on like one percent that shouldn't have been enough to act on it like it was but the reverse probably wasn't fully in gear yeah i've laid all of this and you can see the other track over there I didn't want to try and lay two tracks side by side because there's no way I could have gotten it perfect. So instead of trying to get it to lay absolutely perfect, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make them a little bit different and make it so that, you know, it literally looks like this may have been the main line, this may have been the second line, so on and so forth, or refined, which it kind of was, but... <laughs> This game is absolutely stunning. The trees need a little bit of work because every single tree is basically a clone. But if I had to guess, I would say they were based in this in the Ozark Mountains, which I've actually hiked in the Ozark Mountains. I went to Philmont Scout Ranch, which is in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. So I guess not the Ozarks, but really, really close. And I'll tell you this, it feels very, very much like this. Like, this is how it feels in those mountains. You really only have one type of tree. You have something called a ponderosa pine. And granted, you have other plants and stuff, but the ponderosa is very, very much the predominant tree. I kind of want to go back through and lay some of this. Some of this... Uh, Rating is a little highly elevated. I don't really like it. I want it a little bit closer. But I eventually want to demolish this line, actually. Straighten out that other line. Right there. I want to straighten that out a little bit. And then I actually want to put this line up on the ridge up there. So that I kind of have a high elevation and a low elevation. I'll show you guys a little bit more when we get into the logging camp what I want to do. I can probably kick up the speed a little bit. There is kind of a diminishing return. Uh, as you can see, we do have a water level and a fire temperature and fuel. Fuel is actually out, which is odd because I just threw a bunch of fuel in. Typically, I can get where I'm going with the fuel provided. Let's break out of that view. Take that off. Alright, and then our fuel is full, so we'll keep running. And then I can refill fuel when we get to the top of the hill also. I don't mean for this to be so boring, but I kind of want to show you guys just everything that's going on here. And this is... Ooh, I don't remember about the switch. Okay, the switch is good. It's very difficult to see these switches, and I really hope that eventually they'll get spring switches where you can kind of roll over them and you don't derail the train because right now you derail the train. But eventually I want this line to go into that line down there. I, can, I have a double line over there. Right now uh, with the switches, the switches need to be on perfectly flat ground. They won't let you really lay them on, uh, on hilly ground. 
So eventually I want this line to go where the second line up there is, which I can show you guys. And then I want this line to follow this ridge down along in here and go along over there, which I think is gonna be really cool because it'll just be a little bit different. And then I can just swoop this line into right where that little car is right there. All right, I'll, you know what, I'm just gonna bring it around that way I can also fill up water because water, I'm, I'm at about a half a tank. I kinda need to connect this up so you can see where I haven't connected everything up that I want to. This game is just, it is so cool, it is so beautiful, and I can see massive potential for this. I kind of wish that we could make it so that if you, we could have a, a option where if you hit the F key to exit out of your train, you don't, uh, you don't automatically hit the, uh, it doesn't automatically apply the brakes, but for right now, I guess it's a good base model setting. All right, cut the regulator. Let's slow it down a little bit. Went a little bit too far past, but I'm on a hill here, so I should be able to roll back a little bit. And I think I can make that work. Up up here. Flip that open. So this is our sand up here. This is water right there. As you can see, we have water. Let's pull this guy down and... into the uh, fill it's going and it doesn't take very long to fill up as you can see we're filling up right there water level is popping off right there I believe this holds 500 eventually I think we're gonna get a way to fill this water top these water towers but for right now we we don't really so it just kind of fills up like that Let's go and grab some firewood right quick, which I need to go around over here because of the funky graphics. So this is actually me cheating right here. I'm actually, I'll fully admit I'm cheating. So I can literally just grab cordwood from right here. And this is something I wish they'd fix also is that once you, uh, once you click it, it automatically just fills up your rail car and you don't need to keep clicking it to keep filling it. Let's put the last two on here, and then I can show you guys how I'm kind of cheating here while that's loading. Uh, so yeah, I kind of want to take this line and then run that line into here, and then that line I want it to run along the back ledge over there towards the freight depot. One more, and then we're full here. And I think that'll be really cool because right now with this double track, it's... It's just, it's off. It doesn't feel right to me. I don't really like it. So, but yeah, if we go over here, this is our firewood depot. And if I pop open my screen that says how much I have, you can see I have 47 funds. If I pull down to unload, you can see 57, 67, 77, 87, 97, 107, 117. It automatically put it right there. So this is kind of me cheating. I'm not going to lie. But... You got to do what you got to do. If it's going to give you this option, I would say take the option. And then basically what I do is I can just grab firewood as I run back to my steam locomotive. I'm going to start by just filling up the fire so that it doesn't go too dead. I should probably click these guys so that they're loading while I'm running around. I kind of wish they would speed those up also. They're a little slow. But I kind of get it. You want the experience, not necessarily. All 
you want more of the experience, not necessarily a faster gameplay. So, and maybe that's something that, you know, they can add in the future where you have automatic cranes that load a little bit faster, where you can upgrade to automatic cranes, or you can even hire uh, NPC hands to help you. Right now, you can, you can bring your friends online to help you. But the host servers are very much like an LAN server. They don't have actual, uh, they don't have an actual, like, server host that you can buy yet. But I'm sure that, again, will change in the future because Minecraft started out the very same way. And I'm sure after this game goes through a bit of development, it will eventually be processed into a very smooth running, clean running game. I will say this, and this is this is kind of more of a monologue than anything, but this is probably the most difficult game I have ever started to play. Many games are very intuitive, they're very easy to play, they're very easy to figure out. This game, no. This game, you kind of need to know already how it works in order to play it. And you're kind of wondering, well, how are you supposed to know how to play it if you don't know how to play it? Exactly, that's my point. I had to watch a lot of videos, specifically a YouTuber called KAN Gaming. And I had to literally kind of learn off of his videos. And there's a lot of things that they don't tell you. Like, for instance, installing these... Uh, that's a little odd there. It is still connected, though. Installing those coupler rings, I was butted up to and trying to... Uh, really trying to, to connect a couple of train cars together. And for some reason, it just would not. I don't know why it just would not connect and then i figured it out i had to be spaced apart enough to put the coupler rod in there which makes sense that makes sense in a logical gameplay or in a logical real world thing because you couldn't put the coupler in if they were literally bolted back to back you just couldn't do it so it makes sense, but it's not something that was intuitively known. I didn't know about it. I didn't know that that's how that worked. I'm glad that that's actually loading there because this one I don't think is loading there. Nope. So I'm just going to reverse this guy up a little bit. That's another thing also is these... Uh, the mechanics on the, on the loading cranes is a little wonky. Alright, if I remember right, that's about right. Then I gotta pull forward and get that last car. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the uh, sirens are going off behind me for the for the tornado alarm, the civil defense sirens. Alright, let's kick the regulator on and go a little bit further back. I actually thought I might have pulled too far forward, but apparently I didn't pull far enough back. And that's kind of what I was saying also, where it'd be really nice if you could click the car, click the crane, and it would specifically load that car. I also would change, so if we go into the thing here, you can see we have rails, we have switch right, switch left, yada, 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 uh, crossover 90. I really wish that they would make it so that you could literally buy, or not buy, but choose straight track. I would have, don't get me wrong, I would have the, um, I would have this, which is kind of for, like, you can make all different kinds of track here, but I would have it so you could also buy straight track to, oh, we're fully loaded there, so pull forward. I would also have it so that you could that should be good oh I lost my train of thought <sighs> I forget what I was even oh it's that you could have literally straight pieces of track you could have literally curved pieces of track at a certain angle or a certain curvature so that you could really 
get everything looking really nice, really neat, really tidy, because right now, like, I literally laid all of this by hand, and you can kind of see over there at that rail where I didn't do a perfectly bang up job, and it's a little crooked, and that's just something you kind of have to mess with, like, in real life, that would probably derail a train right there. Go back and finish loading so I can show you guys the freight depot again, or the run back to the freight depot. I'm still very new at this. I would definitely recommend checking out uh, KAN Gaming. I would also recommend checking out checking out Dapper. Dapper also has made a few videos about this. KAN, I kind of like a little bit more. Don't tell Dapper that. But I hope to eventually get a whole bunch of me and my buddies on here playing this, going to all the different places, including the oil field, the ironworks, refinery. I eventually also want to make a, a uh, railroad that goes all the way around just for the fun of it. It wouldn't go anywhere. It would just go all the way around. Or wouldn't go to a specific location, just all the way around. I'm going to try and release about one of these videos every other week. I don't really play this game that much. I literally play it when I'm kind of sick of playing World of Warships. And right now I'm playing it trying to get a video done. It's 1.06 in the afternoon and I have to leave for work at 1.30. So after I get this, uh, after I get this all loaded up here, hop in and bring it back to the freight depot. All right, break off regulator on and I'm just going to get the regulator to start and then I can literally just turn the regulator off and we can coast the bottom fuel is going a little low I should probably And I, I did this so that I could try and keep it at a 3% grade the whole way down because I was literally hitting like a probably an 8% grade going down into the valley on the other side of that track. And that's just not realistic and it really did not look good. I do like the, the some of the physics in here. Like I like the fact that the train kind of shimmies as, as it's going down because that's it's kind of something that these small trains specifically use to do is they used to bounce around a lot. And that was actually a big problem with uh, the smaller tank engines, is they would shimmy around a lot. And I think there was a few Thomas the Tank Engine episodes that commented on that. But so far, so good. I really like this, uh, I really like this game, and I really hope that it becomes a very well-developed game. Hope this is set right. That's set right. Is the other one set right? I don't know. Yes, it is. You can barely see it right there. That's another thing also is I would I would I don't know the switch signals that well, so I don't know everything yet, but I've been playing this for about three days now, three or four days now, so. I love the sound of this of these trains also. It's so it's so hypnotic. Yeah, the eventual idea is for me to have a dual line setup going literally everywhere. I'm going to start by just laying a main line, go back through and lay a secondary line, and with the smelter, I literally want to go up one side and down the other, or vice versa, or up both sides, I guess. I don't really know. And literally just make it like a perfect loop so you can literally see to the other side. I think that'd be so cool blow the whistle a little bit even though there's nobody else on here. You can see we got the bell there. Normally that's very annoying. You got the cylinder cocks right there which I think would actually normally give you like a little bit of a boost in pressure. I don't know. 
or boost in performance because it's venting to the outside instead of trying to shove it up the uh, funnel. I don't know. And I'm, I'm like a railway nerd, and I should know a lot more about this than I do, and I just don't. Yeah, I want to straighten this track out a little bit. Not much. I kind of want to keep the windiness of it because I don't want it to just be straight. I think that's boring. I think that's kind of... It, it kind of defeats the purpose of going through the woods like this in a very fun manner. Like, I get that it'd be more efficient. I get that it'd be more realistic, but it just doesn't look as nice. I can't wait to get some of the bigger trains also and be able to actually start, like, hitting this at speed. I think that'd be really cool. As you can see, I got a little whoop to do right there that I kind of want to that I kind of want to clean up. All right, is this set properly? Yes, it is. We should be coming into the freight depot now. Yep. I just want to make sure that these are set where they need to go. And I, I assume that the other side of the freight depot is going to be used at some point. So I kind of want to, I kind of want to incorporate both sides, and I want to have a, a train yard over here, and I want to have a kind of a mini shunting yard over there. I don't think I'm going to run more than a five, than a five uh, car uh, train, at least for now. Maybe when I get to some of the more important places that it takes longer to get to, I can run more. But for right now, running just a log mill like that, or to lumber camp, sorry, uh, I don't really need a huge train because I'm not going very far. I really want to redo this also. I want to make it a little bit cleaner. I don't like the way this turned out. stop within the platform I should let's pull this guy down and let's see if I get money for him yes I do I get 10 bucks a log and this is kind of why I want to run a five car train I guess I could fit a sixth car back here but for right now I'm just I'm just I'm just getting five but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos of this. I'm planning on doing a video of me going to the sawmill. I didn't really do a video of me doing playing all this at first because I was just trying to figure out how I was how the game worked and everything like that. But anyway, take care. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time.